Uh, Brad Shepard uh, implemented um, sensor data stream processing project using the information of the Argo floats that uh, float around on the oceans um, of the uh, globe and there are currently over I think 3,000 uh, 3,000 almost 4,000 floats uh, available that are deployed they are autonomous and they use uh, satellite data uplink to monitor um, temperature, sea surface temperature uh, chlorophyll and all kinds of other parameters and basically make this available and it can be downloaded um, so this data is encoded with uh, NetCDF file format and um, is mostly historic data and Brad uh, implemented a Python based environment to uh, perform a variety of different queries over those Argo floats and their uh, data and also to visualize the information of uh, the data that is available uh, currently and in the recent past. Here we have a walkthrough uh, through this application. Those boxes here, they're all the code uh, that he wrote. Uh, the, on the right side are the stream queries, the Python stream queries over these very large data sets and they're processed as stream queries. So they pull uh, data uh, from the files and process them at streams. Um, the black um, panel here shows uh, the interface, the visual interface to the queries that the user can perform. So uh, the user can specify uh, lat long um, bounding box um, of interest, then can select temperature data, pressure data, salinity data, and uh, select uh, plot. And so the information then is plotted um, that is available. Uh, and the more data is processed, the more data is added uh, to the visualization. So we see these little uh, dots here popping up. And the user can zoom in uh, to this data. Uh, and we see basically all those queries are concur uh, being concurrent queries over the same data streams and uh, visualizing the data as it's processed, as it's uh, coming in.